Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Mal and I'm the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mal. Before we get into today's tutorial, I do have a couple announcements. I just launched my brand new merch website. I am working with a new merch company now. So I have a bunch of new designs. You might see a little strip underneath this video of all the new designs. I'm wearing one of them right now. This one says MBMM Fam. So for the next two weeks, the site will be 15% off if you're interested in getting any of my new merch. I'm really excited about these designs and I'll continue to add some new designs here and there as things pop up. And if there's anything you'd like to see from the store, just let me know and I'll put something together. So the link is also down below in the description box so you can check it out whenever you would like to. They are based in the UK, so don't be surprised when you see that the prices are in pounds. Um, the shipping is really, really fast. I got my samples in about a week. So just a heads up, don't be surprised when you see the pounds. The next announcement I have is about my Patreon group, MBMM Elite. It's the beginning of the month, so now is the perfect time to join my group if you've been thinking about it, or if you've been looking for a mentorship group, or a community of amazing makers and artists and creative people who will support you and help you, give you advice. We learn a whole bunch of stuff together and we also have a ton of fun. So I would love to have you along in that group. A list of benefits is on the website, patreon.com slash MBMM Elite. I go live every week in that group. I do an exclusive tutorial every single month in April. I did two exclusive tutorials. I give out free SVGs, I do giveaways all the time, and it's just a whole lot of fun. So I would love to have you along. Again, the link is down below in the description box. Okay, now let's get into today's tutorial. So this one is one that I just kind of thought of randomly. And initially I had it in mind as a Mother's Day Tumblr. And then I thought, you know, I just want this to be kind of a tumbler for any woman who feels powerful. So we're going to do some leopard print. We've got a nice power word on there. And I really just wanted this to be a signal and a sign for all of my strong warrior women out there, whether you're a mom or not. I had a whole lot of fun putting it together and I hope it inspires you. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. Okay, I really hope you like it. Let's go. We're going to start with a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven. And we're going to start by doing a full vinyl wrap on the cup. Now with the glitter detailing that we're going to add later, you absolutely do not have to do a full wrap. You could probably get away with a half wrap or maybe even just a little sliver of the vinyl on your cup. When I first started putting this design together, I had intended to make the glitter section of the cup a little bit smaller than it ended up being. So I did the full vinyl wrap because I initially wanted a little bit more of the vinyl to show. So just depending on how much glitter you wanna add when we do the next step, that will determine how much vinyl you put on your cup, if that makes sense. So I went in with a full vinyl wrap, but you end up seeing maybe like two to three inches of the vinyl in the end. So just keep that in mind when you're putting your vinyl on your cup. So I'm just gonna go through my full vinyl wrap process here. You guys have seen me do this before. I use the felt edge of my squeegee to help me push the vinyl onto the cup. And I find that that's been the easiest way for me to do it. And then up at the top, I heat the vinyl up just a little bit with my heat gun to get it to pull really tightly up over that top rim. And then I go in with my craft knife to cut off all of the excess. And then I'll go in with my craft knife one more time at a 45 degree angle just about to get that little sliver of vinyl off that top rim so we can form a really good seal up at the top of the cup with our epoxy later. Then down at the bottom rim of the cup, I use my heat gun again. It just makes the vinyl a little bit more stretchy and pliable, so I can really mold it to that bottom rim and get a really good seal down there too. I'll cut off the excess, and now we're ready to create our custom glitter mix that we're gonna put right over the seam of our vinyl wrap. For this glitter mix, we're going to use four different glitters from PDB. We've got Nude, Midas, Charisma, and Layanne. And the recipe's up on the screen if you want to know the exact measurements for each of these glitters that I'm going to put together. You could absolutely go in if you just have like one really nice chunky gold glitter that you use all the time. You don't have to make a custom mix, but you guys know I just really like to. I'm gonna mix that all together, and then I'm gonna go outside and spray paint right over the seam of my vinyl wrap. 
with gold metallic spray from Rust-Oleum. And now, like I said, I initially planned on having this section be much smaller than it ended up being, but you know, I guess more glitter is never a bad thing, right? So once the spray paint dried, I went in with the epoxy method. I'm using the regular epoxy from Artistry Epoxy. And now what I'm gonna do with my glitter is put kind of like a big stripe down the middle, and then I'm gonna shake my cup out to let the glitter fall naturally and just kind of see where it goes and how it spreads. And then I will continue to do that as I work my way out, covering up all of that spray paint. I let this sit and dry overnight, and once it was dry, I was ready to move into my leopard spots. I'm going to hand paint and glitter my spots, but if you're not comfortable doing that, you can always go in with just regular like vinyl leopard spots. So you would just go in with your epoxy and then add your decals like normal. So for my glittered spots, I'm going to mix together two glitters from PDB. I've got Midnight, which is a true just black fine glitter, and then I've got Sorcerer, which is a holographic silver. And I'm gonna put mostly Midnight into my cup and then just a little touch of Sorcerer. And mixing those together is what's going to help this black glitter stay sparkly under epoxy. So once I've got that ready, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Crystallite glitter glue in my other cup here. And then I'm taking charcoal acrylic paint. This is Ceramcoat brand. It's my favorite acrylic paint. It's fantastic and you can just get it at Hobby Lobby. So once I've mixed that together, I'm gonna to go in and start to create my spots. Now it's helpful if you don't do this a lot, to have some sort of reference. If you have a like leopard print vinyl you can look at or something that's got that print on it so you can copy the spots. I always find that if I don't have something to copy, I just will create the same spot or the same like couple spots over and over again. So it's always nice to just have a reference even if you really don't need one. So with the glitter glue, what I really love when I do things like this is that you have a longer working time than with like Mod Podge or another adhesive. So you can go in and you can do a whole bunch of spots before you glitter them. Whereas with Mod Podge or another adhesive that dries a little bit quicker, you can only do a couple at a time. But either way, you'll put a few spots on your cup and I just kind of dab my brush into the raw glitter to create my spot. You don't want to brush your glitter or swipe your adhesive on. You just want to kind of dab it in as you create your spots. And then every few spots you'll go in with your glitter. So once I was all done, I did the very bottom too, so everything flows from the side of the cup down to the bottom. I'm gonna let this dry two hours and then spray it with at least three coats of matte clear spray from Rust-Oleum to seal the glitter in. And one more note about doing your glitter leopard spots, you wanna do it on raw glitter. You do not want to epoxy your cup and then go back in and try to hand paint your leopard spots. You'll just get black glitter all over the place, everywhere you don't want it. Just. Don't ask me how I know, but that's what will happen. So I added two coats of epoxy to my cup, and then I did all of my sanding, especially up at that top rim. And now I'm going to go in with my decal. So the decal I created here is just a very simple kind of power word. It says warrior, and we're gonna put it right down the cup in that spot where we've got our vinyl. So this is a 20 ounce skinny from Craft Haven. It's about eight inches tall, so I made my decal just a little bit less than eight inches tall. I wanted it to really take up the entire length of the cup. So just keep that in mind when you're making your cup, just measure your cup from top to bottom, and then just take a little smidgen off of that number to get the length of your decal. So I've got a double offset going here. The bottom layer is a black, just regular Oracle 651 vinyl. And then the top layer that I'm adding right here, I guess it's the middle layer really, is white vinyl. And this vinyl has a clear backing, so it makes it really, really easy to layer. I love it, I use it all the time. So I'm gonna just put that right on there. And then for the top part of the decal, we're going to use glitter vinyl from Craft Haven. If you guys haven't tried this glitter vinyl, oh my gosh, you have to get some. She's got a ton of colors. It's so easy to weed, so easy to work with, and it's beautiful. I mean, look at that glitter color. Whew, I love it. It will be linked down below in the description box and you can use my discount code Manny and Mal for 10% off. So once I had the vinyl on, I sealed this vinyl with the glitter glue from Crystalac. And after that dried, I went in with my final coats of epoxy. 
So I did two coats to finish this cup up. The first one was about 20 milliliters and the second one was about 10. So once we are all done with that, the cup is all finished. So here is the final result. I really love how this turned out and I think it's a really nice reminder that you are a warrior and you can get through anything, stay strong, keep with the fight, all of that positive strong woman stuff. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you. Bye. Just some brain. Enjoy it. I have a hot. Wow. Whew, that was a lot of words I just said there. Hopefully they all make sense.